Hello and welcome. When people are lost or stranded in the mountains, there are local heroes we call on to save them. Today, I'm with Park County Search and Rescue, and we'll be investigating their Highline training techniques as well as interviewing some of the crew. I'm Taylor Canny, and this is the South Park Heritage Experience. Ron Brangis, I'm the president of Park County Search and Rescue, and we're here today at our Search and Rescue building, combination building garage in Bailey, Colorado. As we're on the upper floor right now, and this is our training room, uh, and we do our classroom trainings, and, and off on my left side we have a, a climbing wall, so we can do our technical rescue training. And on the lower floor is um, our garage for our vehicles and trailers, ATVs, etc. So, of course, our vehicles are all four-wheel drives. We need them to get around the country here. Uh, we have a trailer that we can carry three snowmobiles on. Uh, a couple other trailers that'll take two snowmobiles. Uh, we do have ATVs. We have a small litter trailer that we can place the litter in to bring the subject out and that litter can be converted to be pulled behind an ATV in the summer months and then we put skis on it for the winter and we pull it behind the snowmobile then. Well, today was a training day, which we have four times a month. We do two classroom trainings and two field trainings in a month. And today, in particular, we did a, uh, a high line, which is just a rope between two points that we can move, in particular, a litter across with the subject to get past an obstacle such as a rocky hillside or a river or a deep canyon. I thought we might need this here differently. All this rock around here, take somebody off of some of these, the uh, high line, sloping line, take uh, guiding line, it's coming handy. This area is like Eleven Mile Canyon. It's a pretty popular rock climbing area. And most things are across the river, and you gotta, there's a parking area, and then you gotta like walk a mile or so up the road to the bridge, go across, and come back. These climbing areas are not always right there by the bridges. Okay. So, how long uh, have you been a volunteer here, and why did you decide to? Okay. I actually started. Uh, decided to be part of Park County Search and Rescue because there's so many people moving to Denver area and since we're so accessible up here people think it's a little easier to, and not as dangerous in the uh, back country but I think there's going to be a lot more rescuing. And I've only done Search and Rescue for just a little over a year now. We do a new member drive usually April every year through local media newspapers, flyers hung in, in restaurants, etc. And uh, get these people to, to come in and then we talk to them the first night about what it is we do, what we expect of them and what they should expect of uh, search and rescue and basically how it's going to change their life to, to do search and rescue because it is a big demand on person's life. It's a 24-7 it's volunteer job. You can buy a Corsar card on our website and that's uh, not an insurance policy but it's a donation to the Search and Rescue State Fund and if you have a Corsar card and we have to go out and rescue you and uh, our snowmobile breaks down we can get funds to re fix it from that uh, that um, money. So where does your funding come from? For... Oh, it comes from awesome uh, anglers, hunters, and off-road enthusiasts from getting permit fees, getting licenses. That's what is the SAR fund. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to know more about us or the South Park Heritage Experience, click the links below. 
If you would, please share the video so more people can discover the beauty and wonder that Park County has to offer. Thanks, until next time.